Hi guys, so I'm going to be starting my process off on hair that I just rinsed all the product out of last night and let air dry. So what I'm doing now is just sectioning my hair into six sections. I'm dividing my hair up by type. So with the looser sections, those will be processed last since they won't have such a hard time absorbing the color. So now that my hair has been sectioned off, I'm going to start applying the black cherry color first. And I'm going to be applying this the same way I do my wash and go. I'm going to be working in smaller sections and I'm just going to be thoroughly smoothing the product through my hair to make sure it's evenly covered. I mixed the Black Cherry Demi Permanent Air Color with a level 20 developer so that way my hair could lift one shade. So now that I've distributed all the color throughout my hair, I'm just going to go through and just really massage it in just to make sure that everything has been covered. Now I'm just going to process my color for 30 minutes under my bonnet attachment with my blow dryer. So now I've rinsed all the color out of my hair using cold water and it's just damp right now. I'm going to section it off into four sections so that way I can apply the magenta semi-permanent color. process the magenta color for about 20 minutes under my bonnet attachment to my blow dryer. Now I'm finally done processing my color. My hair has been cleaned and it's been rinsed with cold water and I used the Curls Creamy Curl Cleanser as my cleanser. This is great. It has a ton of slip. It's a low poo shampoo and now I followed with the Shea Moisture's Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. To see my next step in the color process, tune in to the Shea Moisture Zanzibar Marine Complex and Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler Wash and Go Tutorial.